Hi there, I'm Jamie Dunbar, and welcome back to the Dunbar Dog Diaries, The Puppy Next Door. This is week six, video six. In our last training session, I did some work with Daisy in our backyard. In this video, Kelly's going to help me do some desensitization training to help Daisy feel more comfortable around vacuums. However, before we jump into the video, I just wanted to say that if you are enjoying this series and want to learn more about dog training and behavior, make sure to check out our self-guided dog training courses at DunbarAcademy.com. We have hundreds of hours of dog training videos, lectures and seminars, as well as worksheets and eBooks, all of which can be purchased individually, or you can ac get access to all of it as part of our $20 Top Dog Academy subscription. Alternatively, if you're interested in real time, live online puppy classes with some of the best puppy training instructors in the world, check out our sister site, SeriousPup.com. Our small, live, online classes will teach you all the essential skills you need to raise and train your puppy or adult dog. And the best part is, you will have access to a real live instructor who will coach and guide you through any issues you might have and answer all of your dog training questions. It's easily one of the best ways to get the support you need to raise a puppy, all without leaving the comfort of your own home. If you are interested in either of these, we'll provide links to both in the description down below. Now. Before we jump into the training, I wanted to sit down with Kelly and talk through the process just to make sure I had the right idea. So let's take a look at that conversation. Hi Kelly, good to see you again. Hello. So today we're going to be talking a little bit, maybe doing a little work with Daisy around desensitization. Uh, I heard from the family that Daisy got spooked. She saw some cleaners with a vacuum and so she was barking, reacting at them. And then I've seen over at their house in the yard like the mom raking and Daisy kind of barking and reacting at that. So I want to see if we can reproduce any of that here and maybe do some work around it and get Daisy more comfortable with it. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking we're going to be doing some classical conditioning and using some food and maybe some toys to get her comfortable with these things. I was thinking we'd try and introduce them on a, uh, at a kind of a, a low intensity level. So for example, with the vacuum, I can imagine how the sound of the vacuum is mm -hmm. probably what really amps up the intensity. So I was thinking maybe we'd, you know, bring the vacuum out, um, you know, let her explore it, sniff it, maybe offer her some kibble when she gets near it, maybe offer some, you know, higher value treats if she really gets close or stuff. Um, and then, you know, obviously see how it goes, but if she feels comfortable, I was thinking maybe we, we turn it on in another room. So it's pretty far away. You can just kind of hear the noise and start the classical conditioning there, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. just keep bringing it closer and you know having it be a more intense experience. Um, as long as she's okay, also at the same time, occasionally taking steps back and not always making it more intense, but making it more intense and, then and treat, and then make it easier, and mm -hmm. maybe go back to some kibble or stuff like that, um, and just kind of see how it goes and. Take it easy. Definitely give her plenty of time. I'm not assuming. I'm not. I'm not thinking we're going to solve this in one session today. Oh, yeah. So this will just be the first session. I'm thinking, and then hopefully you can give me some pointers moving forward. Same sort of thing with the rake. You know, I figure like the rake lying on the ground, probably not very threatening. But then maybe when we pick it up, it starts getting a little more mm -hmm. intimidating, and we start like moving in and make scratching noises. Yeah. Um, so we'll take it step by step and. See how it goes? Yep, that anything? sounds good. All that right. sounds good. Cool. Um, as she progresses, I mean, you're right. So movement and noise are the two factors. Of, well, just strange thing in the environment. We've seen occasionally mm -hmm. that's an issue, right? Yeah. Um, you know, if it's a, an object she's not used to seeing, and then, of course, the movement and or the noise will, will do it, too. Um, just you want to, the goal is to neutralize these things, right? Mm -hmm. or, or even make her happy or relaxed around these things. Just, you know, that's kind of a stretch, but you know, right. something to shoot for. Um, and then alternately, as she gets older, we can teach her to go to her mat. Once we know she's emotionally comfortable with it, mm -hmm. because I, I, I could be wrong here. I'm, I'm guessing that the maybe the vacuum cleaner did freak her out a little bit. It's frightened her a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, the rake might have stimulated her. That might be more of a play thing, yeah, you think? Yeah, uh -huh. it might be. might right. not. Um, and in that case, it's more like, okay, so you can't chase the rake. Mm -hmm. You know, or you can't like my dog would, would bite a chainsaw for the fun right. of it, you know, because it's fun. <laughs> Whoa, this is, you know, it's not something they can do. Yeah, go and lie down on your mat while I chainsaw in the backyard. And right, cut, you know, which right. I don't really do, but you know, you don't want them thinking that equipment is 
fun mm -hmm. either, you know, right. like household equipment and right. and stuff. So neutralizing the stuff and then giving her eventually as she matures and is emotionally comfortable with these things and alternate behavior. Mm -hmm. So then I do have one other question, kind of from a filming perspective and, you know, seeing what we're working with. Would it be a bad idea to expose her over threshold to the vacuum and see what happens to kind of get a baseline where we're at? Or is that going to set us backwards in terms of Yeah, her? no, it's not good. I mean, if it scares right. her, you don't want to do that. And people always want to show the trainer what it looks yeah. like. Most trainers do darn well what it looks like when a dog is upset yeah. and don't need to upset them. You don't need to upset them in their presence. For them to so understand. the viewers at home can just imagine what a barking reactive dog is going to look like. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she's, yeah, she's, her, her, she has a stress response to the vacuum cleaner. Um, and I'm pretty sure we will, as I continue to work with Daisy, we will run into some situations without, uh, you know, constructing them where she's going to react to some stuff. And I'll try and get some footage of that before we fix it. You know? Yeah, if you ever see something happening, you can try to quickly grab it for 10 to 30 seconds. But, you know, basically, um, what am I going to say about this? Um, I mean, you, you also, you, you might, you might, you know, what we're trying to do is stay under threshold, but then ever so gradually change that. So like, if you get to the point where she's like, I don't like this at this level and she's here and she's fine and we get her to where she's fine at this level. Mm -hmm. Well then it's not like this just stays here. This kind of bumps up, right? Mm -hmm. So you can keep playing a chase game right. until it's like, it's so high that it doesn't matter because now it's fine. Right. So you don't really ever want to put them over where they would be, mm -hmm. but what happens is where they would be just kind of right. keeps, Their comfort level keeps improving. As, there seems to always be a little, you want to keep this little buffer, Yeah. and it seems to happen that way. It's not like, you know, if you get her used to it at, yeah, the point is don't try, you, you, if you're if you're getting a reaction during your, your desensitizing program, mm -hmm. desensitization program, you are going too far too fast. Yeah. And then again, as we do in regular training, you're not always going to escalate you're going to give mm -hmm. your puppy some breaks and yeah. make it super easy so they're like wow i'm tolerating this i don't love it i don't love it but it's okay oh look how easy it was just to be 10 feet away from the vac yeah. vacuum cleaner that's off again that's right. pizza cake right I've, you know? i'm a big kid now you yeah. know like i learned I it mean, that doesn't bother me and then try again so you know you know always want to make it things worse because that becomes predictable too yeah right right as soon as i get comfortable with something it gets worse Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. like that's, that's not really what we're trying to right. accomplish. Cool. All right. All right. Well, let's shall try. we give it a try? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's give it a shot. All right. I just took Daisy out to the potty and she went pee. So I think now we're ready to do our little bit of training. We're going to try introducing Daisy to this vacuum cleaner. Hi, Daisy. <laughs> Daisy, do you remember Kelly? Do you Kelly? remember meeting me? Oh, what a happy girl. What a happy puppy. So we brought this vacuum cleaner out, but Daisy's not even noticing it right now because she's excited to see Kelly. Yeah. Which I feel like that's what we want to see, right? Yeah, sure. Want her to be oblivious to the vacuum? Oh, she sees that her snacks are up there. Yes, but that's not for you until we give them to you, right? I'm just going to explore the environment a little bit. Yeah, you want to see what's up? Hello, good to see you. Good to see you, Daisy. Yes, do you, you smell my pocket full of treats? Mm-hmm. <laughs> she's like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Yeah. So, you know, she's so in, in, in involved in the people, which is great. She wants to do something. Mm-hmm. All right, so what I might do is take a few pieces. Oh, here she goes. I'll just sniff. Say hi to the camera guy. Daisy. Daisy, come here. Come here. Leave Jess alone. Daisy. She will play with you later. Just here. So I got some, broke out some big guns here. I've got some cheddar cheese and some real so there roast she chicken. It. Oh yeah, she kind of gave it a little sniff. And because it's off and because she's been in a room with a lot of environmental stimulation before, I wasn't too worried about her being, you know, worried. So Freaked I, out when it's yeah. just standing there. <laughs> So I used the big guns for the first time just in case, but now we got enhanced gibble mm -hmm. around that. But this step is going well and pretty easily. She does know it that this machine is here. She doesn't seem to care, which is great. All right. Well, it's um, well, it's silent and stationary, mm -hmm. and no one's using it. Um, I think it was 
you know, was a professional cleaner who, uh, who was there when she reacted. So I can imagine like having a stranger in her home, moving this thing that's making noise, all those things could probably add up. Oops. And so now we're way below. Yeah, for sure. And then and just like having her out and around it while we do mm -hmm. different things, like interact hey, with her a little bit. Daisy, Daisy, look at me. Ooh. Yeah. Oops, she's <laughs> listening to the noise. Daisy, there you go. Yeah, I have good stuff too, I know. Jamie usually gives you boring kibble. We've got some special stuff today. Oh. Look at you. So, you know, again, the idea is to have her be neutral around these kind of things more mm -hmm. than overly interested or attending to it. So, training her around here, I'm cheating by having cheese. Jamie is kibble. Kelly is cheese. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I don't mind if that's the way you think. Jamie's just regular kibble. He'll have to. I'll have to use his, his magic, his charisma, and his energy. <laughs> and so she's just being sweet. She's trying to do a little bit of off there. That's cute. I'm just going to have her hang out around here. I'll have you do some training with her in a minute. How I maybe just simple, simple stuff mm -hmm. while I um, maybe slightly move to that. Mm -hmm. All done. Oh, okay, I'm going to get some enhanced kibble at least. <laughs> Hey Daisy, what do you think? Ooh, yeah. Let me get her engaged with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good job. Daisy. Daisy, good girl. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, did it make a creaky noise? We don't mind that. Just a little. Let her check it out if she wants to. Mm -hmm. Good girl, you're so brave. Oh, look at you on your bed over there. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I've been doing some practice trying to uh, encourage her to hang out on her bed. Seems like a good place for her. All right, and um, I think you were saying earlier when we were talking before this about how a bed can be a really useful management tool around objects that she's either afraid of. Well, no, you were, you were pointing out this kind of a distinction. Like, um, if she's afraid of something, you really got to get her to feel comfortable with it first. But if she's playing with something in an appropriate way, that's where a bed can be really useful. And either way, having some direction and mm -hmm. having something to do, like instead of, you know, people are always good at saying what not to do. Right. But how about what what can I do? Right. Like I'm a little stressed or I'm a little excited. Yeah. What, what do I do with my energy? I'll go lie in your bed and uh -huh. get rewarded, get a chew toy, whatever it may be. Right. And I feel know. like most things a dog's doing Girl, around the house. Girl, she sniffed it, I'll reward that. Yeah. Good job, Daisy. Good girl. Right that one right there. Oh, it's a magical vacuum. And it does, I mean, it smells like a vacuum cleaner, right? Mm -hmm. It's got dusty smells and mechanical smells of some sort. I don't know what, I don't know what electric appliances smell like yeah. to a dog, but you know, electricity kind of has a, has a electric appliances have a smell. Right. Especially when they're plugged sure. in and there's all these plastic and, and stuff. So, good girl. I'll just have it become part of the, the environment. Mm -hmm. I'll work with her a little more and I'll move it a bit. Do you have anything enhanced in your... Uh, there go. There's some higher value stuff. Yeah. Like Ooh. 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 Yeah. I could also bring out her tug. Make it just even the little creaky noises and a yeah. tiny bit of movement. If she's attending to it. I wouldn't say she's concerned. Mm-hmm. But, you know, she notices it for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Interesting. All right. That did seem like a little more wary there. Mm-hmm. Kind of like, what's going now on with that? Maybe going a little bit too much too far. We'll just let her decompress for a minute. Mm-hmm. Check it out again. Just looking for what she can do with that energy. And hey. Mm-hmm. Let our dog eat in bed. <laughs> there you go, girl. 
Okay, maybe move back a little bit and work with her away, move it a little more. Here, Danny. Ooh. Ooh. You want the good stuff, huh? Oh, Jamie, I'll get some good stuff. Which you definitely should because she did have a little bit of reaction that got a little mm -hmm. wary there. Yeah. Oopsie Daisy. Well, I guess you can have that. Sure. There you go. That's just a freebie for being in the vacuum room. Oh, around okay, and around. Let her, we go. let her just be free for a minute. Oh yeah, good girl. Such a brave girl. Hi. And this is just merely, yeah, a bravery reward. She doesn't have to do anything. Oh, she's choosing to sit. She's definitely aware of it. Her ears went back a little bit. She's not sure. Right. Goes over to you. I'm going to let it go stationary again. So it seems like it's really helpful having an accomplice here. Yeah, like. you probably could do it on your on your own, but it doesn't hurt. Ooh, there's a like it seems like this gives there. me a way to have her, if she's not feeling comfortable, go away from the machine, the thing, yep. and to me. Yep. Um, but right. And if I'm, you are alone, then definitely be further away and just slowly work yourself mm -hmm. closer to it. I wouldn't normally. It isn't something I normally do with two people, but it is helpful, it seems. Mm -hmm. She's definitely wary, wary of it now that it's moved. Right. I mean, not because it's closer to her, but because it made movement. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah. I feel like as soon as you uh, tilted it back, you can see it. Mm-hmm. And her little ears changed and her worried face. Go to Kelly. Daisy. She's a little less, you know, she's a little hesitant to get closer to me. Because of the proximity to this now. Mm -hmm. So I'm cheesing her up here. <laughs> cheesing her up. And uh, we're going to keep it short and sweet because it, there is a little bit of an issue here. So you right. probably do multiple bit. sessions like this. Yeah. So this becomes old hat and boring. So you know. But she's going past it and. Daisy. Find it, round it. This is where humans just really generally go too far too fast. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not looking for reaction; you're looking for non-reaction. Right. Right. So, you know, if you've made a reaction, you've actually made a mistake and gone too far. Mm -hmm. Or if you've made an extreme reaction, you've definitely. Mm -hmm. See, Daisy, up. come here, Daisy. Yeah. And this is also good to have her be in. Mm -hmm. Proximity. She may be in proximity partially because the cheese is pulling her into the orbit because mm -hmm. it's so exciting. Yeah. But it may be more than more closer, more proximity than she is really actually right. comfortable with. So having you farther away and having her have options to move away or helping her move away mm -hmm. is also good. Right. So if I was by myself, I might come here and do a little, and then go over here and Absolutely. do a little, and. Start far away, move up incrementally, then back up again. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to reward her for being a walking away to see if she chooses to come close again. Good girl. Not rewarded, but by tossing food further mm -hmm. away, you know, we give her the option. You can be away over there. Yeah. Yeah, I can see how right it's a, it's a slow process. Yeah, you know, absolutely. You don't rush it. Because she's looking at it when she goes by it. Like she's on there, she's moving around it, but she is, yeah. she's attending to it. You don't attend to things that aren't worrisome or exciting right mm -hmm. you know like there are also i mean from a human standpoint there's also you know there's a cone right next to me traffic cone mm -hmm. i'm not going oh right oh, oh. Mm, is it still there or or going wow you know i don't you know it's just in the environment yeah you want that level of acceptance right which is how i feel like she felt about it until you started moving it mm -hmm. and then I'll, and then she's like okay now we gotta now i gotta be have thinking you moved about other this. things have you moved like the skateboard and stuff yeah i've moved uh yeah i was beating her from the skateboard and moving it around the other day and uh this little monster truck she's seen and some soccer balls and scooters and stuff oh good do you think that that's <laughs> good to like mix in you know like so there's some objects that she's more familiar with like the skateboard and the monster truck while we're working on this, is it good to kind of like... Yeah, it could try. It can't hurt. I mean, you want to make it more neutral and less something that's mm -hmm. less right. special and in the environment. 
And that kind of movement doesn't <laughs> seem to bother her. It seems to make her curious. Mm -hmm. You know, she also did have the vacuum cleaner incident. You know, mm -hmm. who's to say that if we had started with the vacuum before that happened? Right. She may still have reacted, but she may not have. Yeah, all right. So we'll do more of the same gradually. You know, like I figured the next session, maybe pull the hose out or something. You know, like make it a little different. I would, I would say not even the next session. Like oh. She's not comfortable with you oh, yeah. moving uh -huh. when she's you know two, three feet away. Yeah. So an off and movement upset her. Mm -hmm. So you know, like that's where you're at. Right. Just do more, another one of these <laughs> until she's right. Until yeah. she's totally comfortable with this. All right. Well, I'm very glad that you were here oh, to help me out to. Yay! Hey. Look at you. Yeah. This All right. Is, is this the beginning stuff. of your skateboarding career? Who can right? say? Yeah. Who can say? We'll get you up there. It's probably not the beginning of your vacuuming career. <laughs> That'd be great if we could teach you to vacuum. But I'm I'm so nice. happy, Kelly, that you were able to be in town for this and introducing to the dog. I feel like those are both things that I really things. appreciated having your yeah fortunate your real time. Yeah. And I've loved meeting her and seeing you guys in person. And that's been fun. Too. We'll have to get Daisy in on a, one of our Zoom sessions at some point. She can have her own little square. Yeah. <laughs> Good girl, Daisy. You're so brave. All right. Well, I think we're going to wrap it up for today. But this is a lot of fun. Thanks yeah. for coming. Good to see you, as always. We'll see you in the next Bye. video. Okay. So that went well. And I think it was a good thing that Kelly was here to help. I think that. Without Kelly, I would have been tempted to move too quickly, and in doing so, I might have actually slowed down Daisy's learning. I think the big takeaway I have from talking with Kelly is that it's best to take things really slow, especially at first, and that you shouldn't be in a hurry to increase the intensity, and then you should also decrease the intensity sometimes to make it easier, and to prevent your pup from thinking that the intensity is just going to keep getting worse and worse, which could cause more anxiety. Okay. Well, that's all for now. I'm actually not sure when we'll be filming next with Daisy, but you don't need to worry about that because we'll post the next video according to our regular schedule. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to learn more about dog training and behavior, make sure you visit DunbarAcademy.com to check out our selection of courses, many of which are completely free. If you'd rather watch more of our videos here on YouTube, just click the links to the right and if you want to follow us on social media, everything you need is directly below. As always, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell for notifications.